Hey guys, long time no see, right? <laughs> yeah, I know it's been a while, but I didn't want to come back unless I had something cool to talk about or something cool to show you guys. And I wanted to also show you guys that I still am on the hunt for retro games and even new games alike. And I always try to shop for like the best deals around, you know what I mean? So I noticed that recently the GameStops have started to carry retro games. So I went ahead and dipped into the little glass cases because that's usually where they are, right where the DS games and GBA and 3DS games are, you know, all the loose ones. And um, they had some pretty cool, pretty clean retro games. Here's one of them right here. This is Body Harvest for the uh, N64. This actually predates Grand Theft Auto as a sandbox title. So this should be pretty fun to check out. I have yet to play it, but who knows? Maybe I'll do a, a live let's play or playthrough or what have you. I don't know, could be fun, right? All right, what else we got? Shadows of the Empire. Too bad this is no longer part of the uh, of the canon that is Star Wars because I really, really uh, like the character of Dash Rendar. I really do like the Outrider. It's a really cool Millennium Falcon knockoff, only with bigger guns. I have yet to finish it though, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and finish this bad boy up. All right, what else we got? When you're out here and you're out in the wilds and you're trying to search for retro games, you usually don't find anything up here in uh in the high desert so when i found this one i was considered very very lucky this is zombies ate my neighbors this is a very awesome classic game whatever options you have to play this game i urge you guys to play it because it is a fun ride when i went into the gamestop i noticed that they started marking down their Xbox 360 titles and their PS3 titles to like next to nothing. So if you guys were a fan of these games back in the day, now is the perfect time to shop around. And by the way, all these were like four for 10. So they got a four for 10 promotion going on, perfect. So let's start off with, uh, uh, we got Uncharted. This is the one that started all, and this is like the pack-in one that came with the PS3. So here's the old envelope and everything. You know, may not be worth anything, but then again, I'm not shopping to to invest. I'm a gamer. Investors suck my dick. And nobody said nobody said to ring right now. Uncharted 3, Uncharted 2 Amongst Thieves. I have Uncharted 4 and I've been really enjoying it. So I need to go back and revisit all of them, starting with the original and then finish four because I feel like I'm kind of out of place. Ninja Gaiden 2 Sigma. Now, I'm a pretty big fan of the Ninja Gaiden series, especially the NES ones. You know, the ones that make Cuphead look like, uh, I don't know, look like Mario 1. <laughs> For the Xbox 360, I got Armored Core 4. There's four of them, right? Dead or Alive 5. They have like the free version that's on PS4 and Xbox One, but um, I don't want to pay for a bunch of, I don't know, bikinis. No, I want to see bikinis on a real woman. I'll pay the extra money and then take it off of her. Dead to Rights Retribution for the uh, 360. I love dogs. And since I have the other two already, I figured why not? Army of Two, the uh, 40 day something. 40, the 40th day, the 40th day, that's what it's called. <laughs> Walking Dead Survival Instinct. There was no way I wanted to get this game for full price, so I waited for this thing to drop to like next to nothing to purchase it. It's the first version of a post-apocalyptic Oregon Trail. I say it's the first one to be that because, well, Oregon Trail got remade into a post-apocalyptic adventure. So, I have nothing else to say about this game except Knife Zombies. Now, for all you BSG fans, not Big Shitty Gun, no. We're talking Battlestar Galactica on the PS2. I haven't played this one. I, I played the one on the Xbox. So I'm pretty sure it's the same game, but you know, it was a demo. 
and it did look kind of cool but you know i just kind of it was one of those games that you just kind of pass by and be like oh that looks kind of cool and you're like oh cool man no i want to play that i want to play some forza fuck that you know the next call of duty is out why why do i want bsg well been there done that now i've come full circle and i now have bsg i think it's gonna be a fun game can't wait to play that I'm told that this is one of the most authentic games besides America's Army. That is a full spectrum warrior, the Ten Hammers. This is really a thinking man's game. You just, you don't just run around corners and blast everything. No, you work together as a unit. It is a complete fire team. You have to work together as a fire team. You know, when it comes to suppressor fire, when it comes to flanking, all those things come into play when you play full spectrum warrior. So I have yet to play the Ten Hammers, so uh, this should be pretty fun. And uh, probably gonna get me frustrated, but all's fair in love and war, right? Now we all know that the Tony Hawk series is pretty much dead, but going back and playing some of those Tony Hawk games, it could be kind of fun. So I picked up my favorite of the series, that is Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3. Let me tell you something. This, a big bag of weed and moon physics, it makes for a fun game. So I recently went to the swap meet with, uh, you know, I bought Tony Hawk, uh, you know, Battlestar Galactica, Full Spectrum Warrior, and this. This is a spindle full of games. I wanted to shoot this video and reveal the games. I have no idea what's in this spindle. So uh, the guy sold it to me for about five bucks. He guaranteed there's nothing but games in here. So let's see what's inside, right? All right, guys, let's see what we got. So right at the top, we got Max Payne 2, The Fall of Max Payne. This is a pretty good one. Uh, let's see, we got Xeno Saga 3. Uh, this is Metal Gear Solid 3, Snake Eater. <laughs> Another Max Payne. Final Fantasy X, yeah. Didn't mean to play that game for a while. We got Blitz Pro, ah, uh, poor Midway. Marvel Ultimate Alliance, uh, let's see. Looks like these are all PS2 games, so. I don't know, hopefully I find some other ones. I'm looking for some Dreamcast games, but who knows. All right, Prince of Persia. Oh, there's another one under. We got Way of the Samurai. We've got Bakugan. Never heard of that. Spider-Man, Friend or Foe. <laughs> jam Packs. When was the last time we seen any of these, man? Another Jam Pack. Okay. Hey, The Incredible Hulk. I'm told this plays like uh, Ultimate Destruction, but, you know, we'll see. And, ooh, a knockoff. What do we have here? Street Fighter Alpha 2 for the PS1. Yeah, that's not gonna work. The transvestites more than meets the eye. Okay. All right, Superman Returns. Ugh, all right. Prince of Persia, Sands of Time. This one's all right. Medal of Honor, Frontline. Black. Okay. I'm not sure if I told you guys this before, but I'm gonna tell you right now. A lot of people, when they tell you like what their game was, in the Xbox days, they'll be like, "Yeah, man, I was a I was a Halo fan." Or on PS2, they were like, "Nah, I was a I was a Killzone man." Me, I was a black man. All right. We got Constantine, Wallace and Gromit, SpongeBob. Ugh, can't wait to shoot that. The real gun. Ty, Ty. Thank you. Okay. Winnie the Pooh. We will fight them on the beaches and on the lands. Eeyore and Tigger. I miss Robin Williams. All right. Tony Hawk, American Wasteland. Huh. I wonder if you're skating in the Salton Sea. Tony Hawk's Project 8. You know, because the other seven completely botched, right? Yeah, yeah, that one's not probably gonna be not good. All right, Mortal Kombat Deception. 
I think this comes with the Tetris combat, so that should be fun. I'll check that out. Ugh. The Transvestites. I mean, the Transformers. Revenge of the Fallen. Uh, hey, a PS1 game. Ugh, Frogger. Okay. If this has the original, this will be good. Downhill Domination. I think this has something to do with BMXs. SS3 or SSX3. Why can't they just call it Snowboarding 3? Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX 2. I've never played any of the Matt Hoffman games, so this series died really quick. Yeah, might be good. Might be good for laughs. Test Drive Off-Road. For some reason, Iron Man Ivan Stewart comes to mind. And let's see, we got, what the hell? I, give, I think this belonged to Kenny, but uh, yeah. MotoGP 07 or 01, I don't know. Hey, Gran Turismo 4, I already have this game. The Nightmare Before Christmas? I didn't even know they made this. I have a feeling this isn't going to play very good. Just got a bad feeling. Ford Racing. Okay, for all you rednecks out there, Ford stands for first on race day. Grudge Warriors. What the hell is this? It's Take-Two Interactive. These guys were the first to do GTA, so who knows? Test Drive 4, another racing game. And that's it. Thanksgiving is almost here, so by the time this video comes out, it'll be Thanksgiving. So what am I thankful for? Well, I'm actually thankful for you guys, the YouTube retro gaming community. I mean, you guys have really really kind of motivated me to really kind of get back into this thing. I've had a really wild summer, if you will, and I've had a lot of ups and I had some downs. Before I chop all that up and put it onto this channel, I gotta know, is this something that you guys wanna see? And because a lot of it is, un, is not game related. It's a lot of personal stuff. And I'm not sure if you guys want to see it on this channel, and if you do want to see it, do you want to see it on this channel or on another channel? If you guys have an idea for a video, anything that you guys want me to cover or talk about, go ahead and post a comment below. Until next time, peace out. Happy Thanksgiving. It's really hard to walk off the set when I got this big fucking light in the way. You see this thing? Me and my LD are gonna have a really, really heart to heart. Wait, I am the LD. I'm gonna smoke a bowl, see ya.